Melissa, and I'm super excited that you're here today for our flow. First, we just want to thank you because we hit 100 subscribers. Yes! <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for your support. And if you haven't checked out the channel, go check it out and hit that subscribe button. It's really helpful for the channel. So we're gonna be working on rotational movements, really incorporating your breath, so that gentle 360 degree breath with your rotation and notice what you feel firing up with your core. So let's get right to it. Come down onto your mats. We're gonna start coming on our hands and knees just in tabletop today. You're just gonna press into those palms, lengthen out through the crown of your head, and then maybe just gently sink the tailbone, lift your head. And then exhale, round it out, sink the hips back, come back into child's pose. Inhale, lift that head, sink the chest, open up. Exhale, press those hips back, child's pose. One more time. You're gonna inhale, lift, come back up, sink the chest, lift up. And then press, round everything back out. You're gonna inhale, come back up into that tabletop position. Press into your palms, lengthen through the crown of your head, drive the tops of your feet into the mat. We're gonna press into that left arm. Take your right hand behind the back of your head and just drop elbow to elbow. Inhale, press into the left arm, twist that chest, come up. Exhale, bring elbow to elbow. Inhale, press that chest, lift, come all the way up. One more time, exhale, drop elbow to elbow. Inhale, press, lift, come all the way up. We're gonna switch, right hand comes down, press into the palms, lengthen through the crown of your head, left hand comes behind that back. Bring your elbow to elbow. Inhale, press, lift all the way up and back. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, press, lift up and back. Good, one more time, tap that elbow. Just notice, left side, right side, what are you feeling, those differences? Hands come back down, just sink those hips, come back into child's pose, let your head rest and get nice and heavy. Use your breath and see what you feel. Don't, don't try to change it, don't judge it, just use your breath. Can you relax your neck and shoulders and breathe into that rib cage? Can you breathe back into the rib cage? And inhale, pull yourself, come all the way back up. Come into that tabletop position. Press into the palms, lengthen out through the crown of your head. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna take our right arm. Reach your right arm straight out in front. So this is where that rotation starts. So I want you to take a gentle breath in through your nose. Exhale, blow out through a straw. Take your right hand to your left hip. Reach through those fingertips. Inhale, press, lift, come back up. Exhale, breathe out. And as you're breathing out, just notice that connection with the lower abdomen. You're not forcing, it's just very gentle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, reach towards that back one more time. Inhale, come all the way back up. Take that right hand down, left leg goes back, press through that back heel, spin the left arm open, press the hips up, and just gently turn your gaze down towards the floor. Keep pressing the hips, reach through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, that left hand comes back down towards the ground. And then you're just gonna hover your left knee. Press into the palms, press that right foot into the ground, and just start to do little circles. So little circles with that left knee. Make sure your hips keep facing the ground. Remember to keep breathing out into that ribcage, no holding your breath. And just small little circles. If you want, those circles can start to get a little bit bigger. And you're just noticing connection as you're breathing with pelvic floor, lower abdomen area for three, two, last one. Awesome, take that left knee, drive your left knee in towards your chest, place that foot on the ground. You're gonna really press that left heel into the ground. Inhale, lift up. Drive your left knee forward over those toes. Take your right arm, float your right arm up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing into that left hand. Twist your body down towards the ground. Reach through those right fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. 
Inhale, reach, come all the way back up. Hands come back down towards the ground. You're just gonna gently straighten out through that left leg. So pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Rotate the foot to the left, and then that right hand side. Just gently spinning that hip from side to side and notice how that stretch changes in the back of that thigh. Good, for three, two, last one. Bend through that front knee. Inhale, sweep your arms, lift up. Exhale, open, come into cactus arms. Careful with that low back. Make sure those ribs are dropping down and open through the front of your chest. Inhale, lift those hands, come up. Step that left leg back, press through that heel, and then bring that knee back down. We're just gonna switch to the other side. So press into the palms, drive the top of the feet into the mat. That left arm is gonna reach out in front. Really press into the right hand. Make sure your hips aren't tucked underneath. You have a slight little tilt in that tailbone. Nice gentle breath in. Exhale, left hand to your right hip. Inhale, lift, come up. Exhale, twist and rotate. Really reach through the fingertips and as you're exhaling, try to breathe out through a straw. One more time, rotate and twist. And feel that connection lower core. Both hands come all the way down. You're gonna spin that right arm open, right leg goes back, turn your gaze down towards the ground. Keep stretching through those fingertips. Press the hips up, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Just compare this side to your other side. And then slowly bring it back down towards the mat. And you're gonna keep that right knee hovering. Just slowly do a little hovering of that right knee with circles, using your breath, press into your palms. Keep pressing in, nice breath in. Just notice left side, right side, those circles can be as big or as small as you want. Awesome, for three, two, last one. Now bring that knee in towards your chest, step that foot forward. Press into your right foot. Inhale, sweep those arms, come all the way up. Press that front knee over your toes, sink that hip forward. Right hand comes to your hip, bend over towards that right hand side, and then gently turn your upper body to face the ground. It's just gonna change the way you're feeling that stretch in the front of your hip. Keep pressing the top of that left foot into the ground. Then inhale, lift, pull yourself back up. Float both arms up overhead. Exhale, straighten out through that front thigh. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward, and then just gently rotate that foot in and out. It's changing from side to side. Notice the pull in the back of the thigh. For three, two, last one. Now bend through that front knee. Inhale, sweep the arms, lift up. Exhale, open into that cactus arms. Gentle squeeze of those shoulder blades, broaden through your collarbones. And inhale, lift, come back up. Exhale, hinge forward, take that right leg, and just step your right leg back. Good. And you can press back into child's pose, or if you want, you can come into that down dog. Press the heels down, lift that tailbone. Nice breath in. If you're in child's pose, your head is super heavy. And just take a nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then slowly walk those feet forward towards your hands. Good. You're gonna press into those feet, lift those arms, come all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Okay. So you're gonna find that sweet spot with your balance. So where's your weight in your feet? Can you soften that rib cage? Can you spread your toes, relax your glutes, and then find your breath. So we're breathing out into that rib cage softening your neck and shoulders. Take your right hand down by your side, bend over towards that right hand side, take those left fingertips all the way up overhead, stretch through those fingertips, nice breath in. Inhale, pull yourself, come back up, take your left hand behind your back, and you're just gonna drop your right ear to your right shoulder, softening through those shoulders, nice breath in. Good. 
Inhale, come back up. That left hand is gonna slide down your thigh. Maybe your right arm reaches up overhead, stretch through those fingertips, and just make sure you're not rotating towards the ground. You keep spinning that chest open. And then on your inhale, pull yourself, come back up. Take your right hand behind your back. And then just drop that left ear to your left shoulder. And maybe moving your head forward and backwards, just seeing where you feel the biggest stretch. If it feels really good, you can hold it there. Good, inhale, lift those arms come all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands back down towards heart center. Okay, so pressing those feet down, really try to spread your toes, shift your weight forward. Keep pressing those palms together, nice breath in. We're gonna shift our weight to the left leg. So find that rib cage, soften the rib cage, keep breathing. And you can either have a toe tap of that right foot or you bend that knee. We're gonna head back to those circles, small little circles with that hip. Make sure your hips are facing forward. You're not dipping to one side or the other. Keep pressing into that foot. Spread those toes, nice breath in. Good, for five, four, three, two. Last one now, slow as you can. We're stepping it back, crescent lunge. So bend through that front knee, pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Really press the heel into the ground. Right heel goes down. Watch the ribs, so just a gentle softening of those ribs. Inhale, float those arms, lift all the way up overhead. So here comes that rotation piece again. Gentle breath in through your nose. On the exhale, twist right hand to your left hip. Inhale, lift, come back up. Exhale, twist. Good, two more, feel those obliques kicking on. Inhale, reach up, spread your toes. Exhale, rotate and twist. Oh, I did it again, I lost count. So maybe we'll just do one more, just because. <laughs> twist to that left hand side. Inhale, come all the way back up. You're gonna exhale, fold forward. So pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Spread those toes, slowly shift your weight forward. Lift that leg up. You can either stay with a toe tap down on the ground or keep reaching through the back heel. Think of softening with your breath. Squeeze the shoulder blades, reach through those fingertips. Awesome job. You've got five, four, Three, two, one. We're heading to reverse that warrior. So the right leg steps back. Inhale, lift up and back. And just peek at your left knee to make sure you're still pushing it out towards that pinky toe. Reach through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. And just turn your gaze to look at that right foot to kind of soften the neck. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. You're gonna pull yourself, come back up. Spin up onto those back toes. Hop your right foot in one or two steps. Left leg straightens out, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, slide your hands all the way down that thigh. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then you'll bend through that front knee. So you can either step to a forward fold or maybe you step back into plank, plank on your knees, and we're just gonna lower all the way down. Inhale, pull yourself, lift up and back, cobra. So it's really about that pull and broadening through the chest. And then you can do child's pose or maybe down dog. Wherever you're at, just a nice breath in. The head is heavy. Breathe out into that rib cage. If you're in down dog, maybe you wanna take your right leg, float the right leg up, reach through the heel, open that hip up, and slowly lower it down if it's lifted. And wherever you're at, we're gonna meet at the front of our mats. Coming all the way up. Exhale, bring those hands back down towards heart center, okay. Find that balance point, shift that weight, soften the ribs, head over towards that right hand side. So you're gonna squeeze that right glute, toe tap with the left, 
or knee comes in and we're just going to start to do the circles just gentle circles with that left leg comparing it to your other side so that right leg is going to work a little bit harder than the left but i still want you feeling it in that outside of the hip as you bring that knee up towards the ceiling good open that hip up good for three two one more now you're going to bend through that front knee as slow as you can head back to crescent lunge pull your right hip back left hip forward press both heels down and towards the ground inhale sweep those arms lift all the way up overhead careful with that rib cage to not over arch through your back nice gentle breath in exhale left hand to your right hip remember try to exhale blowing through that straw nice breath in exhale twist and rotate inhale lift up two more times here we go exhale twist inhale lift back up soften those right toes last one head over towards that right hand side inhale press and lift up you're going to hinge forward over your front thigh pull your right hip back left hip forward really press into the foot and we're taking off so toe can stay down or maybe you lift that leg up keep reaching back through those fingertips nice breath in exhale let it go the breath is your key here no holding that breath for five four three two last one bend through your front knee step it back come into that reverse warrior turn your gaze to look down at that left foot make sure your front knee you're pressing it out towards that pinky toe nice breath in inhale reach come all the way back up you're going to spin up onto that back foot hop it forward two or three times pull your right hip back left hip forward lengthen out through the crown of your head and then hinge it forward keep pulling that right hip back keep lengthening out nice breath in exhale let it go good then you're going to bend through that front knee hands come down towards the ground and you can either step to a forward fold step back into plank pose keep pressing into those palms maybe you drop down towards your knees lower all the way down pull yourself forward lift up and back and then press the knees back lift those hips up and back down dog or you can come to child's pose nice breath in exhale let it go okay this time really let it go nice breath in exhale really let it all go wherever you're at let's meet at the front of our mats coming into that forward fold head is heavy maybe you just kind of gently sway from side to side and then let's come all the way back up lift those arms all the way overhead hands come back down towards heart center and just find that sweet spot again and then we're going to head through that one more time so head over towards that left hand side press into your foot lengthen through the crown of your head squeeze that glute so you come to the toe tap or maybe your knee comes to meet your other knee and we're going to do those circles and try to do them a little bigger this time opening that hip up while you're stabilizing that left side that softening of your rib cage using that breath awesome five four three two last one now take that leg as slow as you can step it back crescent lunge left hip back right hip forward press those heels into the ground lift those arms overhead exhale through the straw right hand to your left hip inhale lift come back up exhale twist great job inhale lift come back up two more times keep pressing that left heel into the ground Good, last one, exhale, rotate. 
Inhale, lift, come all the way back up. Exhale, float it forward, pull your left hip back, reach through those fingertips. Now you can come to that toe tap or you just take off into airplane. Squeeze the shoulder blades open through the front of that chest. Really lengthen out through the crown of your head. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. We're holding, you've got this for five, four, no holding that breath, three, two, Last one, reverse your warrior, step it back. Right hand down, left arm reaches up and back. Make sure that front knee is pressing out towards your pinky toe, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, pull yourself, come up into warrior two. So keep pulling that right rib cage back, soften the shoulders, bend those elbows. You're gonna exhale, open, come into cactus arms, and then gently round it out, tap those forearms in front. Inhale, lift, really focus, middle of the shoulder blades. Exhale, round it out, last one. Inhale, lift, come up. Reach out through those fingertips as you spin up onto your back heel. Hop that right foot in one or two steps. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward, exhale, hinge. Slide those hands down your thigh. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take one more nice breath in here. Exhale, let it go. So you can step forward to a forward fold. Maybe you bend the front knee, step back into your plank, plank on your knees, head to child's pose, whatever is calling your name. If you would like to flow through, you can. Really work on opening through the front of that chest. And then child's pose or maybe down dog. Press those heels down, lift the hips, nice breath in. If you want, right leg floats up. Open that hip, press through that right heel. And slowly lower that leg back down. And wherever we're at, we're gonna meet at the front of our mats. Good. Press into those feet, lift those arms, come all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Good. Finding that balance, spread the toes. Here we go, other side. Toe tap, or we're doing those circles. Make sure the hips are even, soften your right toes. Nice breath in, exhale, letting it go. And just how does this side feel compared to your other side? Awesome, three, two, last one, as slow as you can, we're stepping it back, crescent lunge. Square those hips off, press into the feet, float those arms, lift up, gentle breath in, and then you're gonna exhale, left hand to that right hip. Inhale, lift those arms, come up. Exhale, rotate, blow through that straw. Inhale, lift up. Two more times, exhale and twist. Inhale, lift up, keep squeezing that left glute, press through that heel. Inhale, lift, come back up. Exhale, hinge forward. You're ready, you know where we're going, take off. Keep the toe tap. Maybe you have your finger on a wall or something nearby. Keep reaching through that back heel. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open through the chest. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, for five, four, three, two, one, reverse your warrior. Lift up and back, lengthen through those fingertips. Gaze is down at that foot, keep pressing the front knee out. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Inhale, come all the way back up, warrior two. Soft through those shoulders, bend your elbows, open that chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, round it out, tap the forearms. Inhale, lift up and open. Exhale, round it out. Last one, here we go. Inhale, open up. Straighten out through those hands, spin up onto that back foot, hop it forward two or three steps. Right hip back, left hip forward. Exhale, fold it forward. Nice, gentle breath in. 
exhale, let it go. Okay, now we're just gonna bend both knees. We're stepping back. You can come right into child's pose or if you wanna flow through, lower down. Inhale, lift up and back, cobra. Child's pose or down dog. And then if you wanna lift that left leg, you can reach the left leg, rotate that hip up towards the ceiling. Lower everything all the way back down. Inhale, pull yourself, come forward, drop down to those knees, sink the hips back. Get a nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, pull yourself, come back up more, come onto our backs. Good. Head's getting heavy. Soften through those shoulders. And scoot your feet out so they're about mat distance apart. And just pop your right knee down. Let the left leg relax. And really press the knee and notice the hip if you feel it in the low back. Inhale, bring it back up. That left knee goes down. Press the knee towards the ground. Open up that hip. Inhale, come all the way back up. And just scoot those feet in towards each other. Your arms are gonna be resting by your side with your thumbs facing up. You're gonna be careful not to tilt your pelvis when we do this, soften through your toes. Take a gentle breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna lift the hips and press those arms down in towards the ground. Inhale, lower two more times. Exhale, no tucking those hips, just press straight up. Lift up, press the arms down. Exhale, bring it back down. Good, one more time. Press those arms down, lift those hips, lengthen out. And lower all the way back down. Those arms reach up overhead, lengthen out through those fingertips. Nice breath in, maybe press through the heels. Exhale, bring those arms back down. Knees come in toward your chest. Just gently rocking from side to side. We're gonna bring those arms out to the side like a T and just drop them to the right hand side. Try to keep that left shoulder down. Use your breath to open those hips. Inhale, come back up. We're gonna head over towards that left-hand side. Right shoulder stays down on the mat. And just comparing the side with your other side. And inhale, come back up. Place those feet back down on the ground, lengthen out. Just get ready, we're gonna do a brief Shavasana today. Just get heavy on your mat, shoulders are relaxed. Notice your breath, notice how maybe it's changed from your practice. Can you keep your neck and shoulders soft? And then remembering all that rotational work we did through our practice. We tend to do a lot of rotation work throughout our day. So just incorporating that off your mat as well. Okay, inhale, we're gonna inhale for three, exhale for five, two rounds. Next breath, you're gonna inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, let it go, get super heavy. And just start to rotate those arms and legs in and out. Maybe sliding one leg in, then the other. Making your way onto your side. 
And then just coming all the way up to a comfortable seated position. We'll take one last deep cleansing breath in, lift those arms, come all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Thanking your bodies for its practice today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Namaste.